All right, guys, next thing we're gonna talk about is uh, white meat versus dark meat. Um, before we do that, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through some of uh, some common cuts. Uh, I know a lot of us don't handle raw chicken, but if you do, you know, you're always gonna wanna use gloves um, and just be kind of cognizant of uh, cross-contamination, the you know, surfaces you're working on, um, and, you know, frequent glove changing. A lot of times people will wear the same glove, like when they work with this, and they'll grab the next thing, and, whatnot but as far as our you know as far as our light meat goes we've got our chicken breast um, here you know, on the back side of the chicken breast there's there's your chicken tender and then you know drum dark, is dark meat our thigh and then our leg quarter some other you know common kind of uh, dark meat cuts that you'll see um, and then you know you've got your wing it's a full wing um, and then here's, you know, a lot of times you'll hear drums and flats. So that's your little kind of drumette and the flat piece is the kind of middle piece. And for some reason, people have preferences on that. Uh, and we're just going to kind of set, we're just going to kind of set this aside. And I've got a, I've got a fully cooked chicken that we're going to kind of pull apart um, and look at that meat from a cooked perspective as well. All right. So we've got our whole cooked chicken here. This is a rotisserie chicken. Um, and we're just gonna kinda break this down. So, pretty much any anytime I'm breaking out a chicken, like the first thing I'm gonna take off are these back, you know, kind of our leg quarters that we talked about. And that's all dark meat back there. And a lot of this is gonna kinda fall off too as it's fully cooked. Um, so you could pick it with your hands uh, with gloves on for sure, which definitely if you're picking chicken or you're roasting rotisserie chickens and you're gonna uh, serve like chicken salad, um, I, I highly suggest you know, that you're picking through it with gloved hands and you're making sure that you could feel, feel any of the like residual kind of bone that would be in there. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of follow this down the keel bone and take this breast meat off. These wings off the rotisserie chicken are not really that useful. Um, could be for some kind of soup or stock or broth if you're doing that. Same thing with this cage, also not very useful. Um, and so, you know, you can immediately see with this, with the light, with this white meat versus kind of the color in the dark meat. Uh, the, 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 the breast meats, you know, it's definitely like you want to slice it, uh, you know, for plate presentation, kind of like that. Um, if you wanted to, you could take it and kind of pull it apart in chunks for chicken salad as well here. But typically you're going to see this in, you know, as a made with whole muscle or whole muscle, probably, you know, as a tender um, or something kind of a breaded product, you know, to that effect. Over here we, kind of, we have our dark meat. These are, you know, still leg quarters uh, and I could take it and cut it on the back side here. Uh, and then I've got, you know, I've got my drum and I've got my thigh. You know, another, a lot of times you'll see both of these in a breaded, non-breaded kind of format. Either way, same thing with your leg quarter, like you, you will see that breaded, unbreaded. Um, this meat is also really great for just picking. You'll notice it just kind of falls apart uh, and pulls really well. So a lot of times you'll see this as chicken taco meat. Um, sometimes it's, you know, ground up or a little bit finer than this. Um, but you can just see immediately kind of the difference in that meat. Like once I start picking it and pulling it off and here's a good example of like, if you're picking chicken, like that's a large piece of, uh, kind of cartilage and stuff there. Um, and you'll feel that if you're wearing gloves, but you can immediately see all of the kind of moisture and collagen that that dark meat has over just the lean, uh, white protein. So. You know, this dark muscle has worked a whole lot more than the breast muscle that bird is walking around or running around on this all day. So it's kind of developing uh, just a little bit more intermuscular fat um, you know, and a lot more flavor, to be honest. And I know a lot of people go for, you know, white meat, but for me, a lot of times I, I, I like a blend. So if it's just kind of naturally falling off the chicken somewhere, you know, around uh, 45, 55, um, works and then you know you could still you know have a chicken product that's got all that good flavor fat 
and kind of moisture content of the dark meat with a little bit of the white meat folded in to really kind of carry all that through. So just to kind of recap all of that, for K-12 and for commodities, you know, your natural fall is going to be about 55% white, 45% dark. Now, a lot of this stuff is going to be your tenders, your boneless wings, uh, that kind of stuff. And then a lot of the dark meat is going to be your ingredient meat. So, you know, think uh, fajita meat, uh, crumbles, all kinds of pulled stuff. But you still have the whole muscle cuts that you can do as well, like that thigh or the drum. So a lot of versatility here.